when it comes to iconic warbirds, there are a few. Whether it's the Spitfire with its elliptical wings or the P-51 Mustang with its turbocharged throat, they are all very different. Perhaps the most special, however, is the Grumman F-6F Hellcat. With its deep, fat body and short wings, it is easy to spot. It's not all about looks. Hellcat planes also have a story to tell. Today we are going to take a look at the incredible history of the Hellcat plane. The F-6F Hellcat was built by Grumman Aircraft Engineering Corporation. It was built to replace the F-4F Wildcat. The plane is designed for one seat. Its main role is as a fighter. It is the successor to, and logical evolution of, the carrier-capable F-4F Wildcat series of aircraft operated by the United States Navy in the Pacific Theater of World War II. During the conflict, during the conflict, Hellcat served under the banners of the USN, the United States Marine Corps, and the Royal Navy Air Fleet. The system features powerful Pratt Whitney brand engines, multiple heavy machine guns, and the ability to carry conventional bombs and surface-to-air missiles while operating from the carrier's mobile plane. This aircraft is known to be the favorite of most of the pilots who have flown her and in total has topped 12,275 units of different models, 11,000 of which came in 24 short months of production. The design of the F-6F follows the lines of the F-4F. Where the F-4F was originally intended to be a biplane design, and thus developed a tough appearance for the fuselage, from the outset the F-6F was purely a single-wing fighter. The cockpit is positioned directly above the large low-mounted wings, as opposed to the mid-mounted wings found on the F-4F, and is forward in design, albeit just behind the engine, and provides full visibility through a framed dome. Primarily to beat the A6M0, the F6F Hellcat proved to be faster at all altitudes with slightly better climb rates above 14,000 feet, as well as being a superior diver. While American planes can roll faster at high speeds, the Zero can overtake Hellcats at lower speeds as well as climb faster at lower altitudes. When fighting Zero, American pilots were advised to avoid dogfights and use their superior strength and high-speed performance. As with the previous F-4F, the Hellcat proved to be capable of sustaining a larger amount of damage than its Japanese counterpart. Power comes from a powerful Pratt Whitney R2800 series radial piston engine, delivering around 2,000 horsepower and delivering speeds over 375 miles per hour. The downsized engine dominates the front of the design while the conventional vertical single tail surface has rounded off the accent. The landing gear is unique in that they are retracted in a retrograde fashion. Like the F-4F before it, the F-6F is armed with 6x12.7 mm heavy machine guns in pairs of three for one wing with 400 rounds per gun. Additional and optional weapons include explosive air-to-ground missiles, an offensive role that the Hellcat excels at, and conventional drop bombs when needed. A fuel tank can be carried in the center of the fuselage to improve range. The versatility and firepower inherent in the system deliver a one-of-a-kind punch when paired with equally devastating Vought F-4F Corsair fighters. The success of the F-6F was noted and a night combat variant appeared with radar in 1944 and was identified using N in their designation as the F-6F-3N. The F-6F first flew as the XF-6F-1 prototype in June 1942. The further developed XF-6F-3 prototype was selected as the initial production model and featured a Pratt Whitney R twin-stage turbocharger engine. Minus 2810 double wasp. The initial production model became the F6F3 and became operational in January 1944. Soon after, production shifted to the refined F6F5 model with the new Pratt Whitney R28010 W directional piston engine. Center and other structural and aerodynamic improvements along with spare materials for bombs and underwing munitions. 
Pilot Bob Hall made the first flight of the Grumman F-6F Hellcat on June 26, 1942, and then produced no less than 12,275 F-6Fs in just 30 months from the Bethpage, Long Island factory. The Grumman F-6F Hellcat has proven to be the ultimate compromise in aircraft circles. Not the fastest, most maneuverable, most manufactured, most heavily armed, or maybe even the prettiest. Instead, it combines those ingredients and creates an edge over its Japanese counterparts that has never been ch The Grumman F-6F Hellcat resembles the Wildcat in that it is a radial-powered monoplane, but it features significant improvements. The wings are lowered to the mid-low position, shortening the length of the landing gear to ease landing stress and widening the groove for improved deck handling. The huge, almost square wing has a lot of lift and is as sturdy as a bridge. If the Hellcat is missing, its visibility from the rear, as the cockpit is fitted into the fuselage, like on the early Republic P-47s, Hellcat first appeared in August 1943 while World War II was underway. It has proven its worth. Participating in some of the largest aerial confrontations in the Pacific, from the Caroline Islands to the Battle of the Philippines and beyond. The British received 252 Hellcats F6F3 and F6F5 in lend-lease form. No less than 75% of the total enemy aircraft during the conflict were in Hellcat pilots' hands, which recorded a total of 5,156 kills during the war for an astounding 19 to 1 kill ratio. 307 Hellcat pilots have become the trump card thanks to the good machine. This aircraft was well regarded for its role in support of TF-58, where approximately 400 Japanese aircraft were destroyed in a single week. The F-6F series was further developed in the post-war world, being implemented by the French, Argentine, and Uruguayan forces. The French used them in fury during their Indochina conflict while the entire series would be used until the early 1960s. The Americans' last use of the F-6F was during the Korean War. North Korea when six remotely controlled Hellcats were used as giant aerial bombs on targets in North Korea. The arrival of the F-6F changed the course of the war in the Pacific most certainly in favor of the Americans and the rest of the free world for that matter. The system has been noted for its durability and responsiveness, and the kill tally reflects the benefits of the platform. In the end, the F-6F lived up to the legendary Warbird's name and became one of the most important reasons why the war in the Pacific turned out the way it did. Hellcats are credited with destroying a total of 5,223 enemy aircraft while in service with the United States Navy. United States Marine Corps, and Royal Navy Fleet Air Defense Forces. This was more than any other Allied naval aircraft. After the war, the Hellcat was phased out of frontline service in the United States, but the radar-equipped F-6F-5N remained in service into late 1954 as a night fighter. The F-6F Hellcat proved to be one of those rare aircraft from the start. The powerful fighter is also one of the few fighters that were developed after the outbreak of war to be so successful. It was a big and heavy machine in an era where experts praised small and light fighters. The Hellcat was fast and nimble enough to prevail as an air fighter in the Pacific War, while pilots praised the F-6F's damaging ability to take down lesser fighters. It is easy to see how it earned its reputation as the product of Grumman Iron Works, as those who have flown this fighter know that sustaining damage in combat no longer equals certain death. I would like to end my video here. The video is my research and research effort. I hope to bring you useful knowledge. And if you are someone who knows a lot about this plane, please comment below so I can understand more about it. I will try to improve the best in the next videos. As always, if you like this video, hit the like button to support us. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be one of the first to see my latest videos. And that makes me more motivated to make more videos.